Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. As I promised before in one of my uh, previous video, that I uh, will do an update on the housing of the new generators I was building and designing a building. So here's a video about one of them. It's uh, almost done, as you can see. It's a uh, MDF housing. This design is basically the same as that one. It's yeah, just a design of mine. And I'm using it because I like it. And uh, here I'm using uh, one of my long shafts I have. As you can see, I have on it now. Uh, by the way, these two rotors here. And this is basically a flywheel in the middle. This is just a setup to give you an idea uh, what I can do with this shaft over here. I could put one rotor on it, two rotors, three rotors, you know, one rotor, flywheel and so on. So, uh, and for those of you asking, yeah, why should I or would I put a flywheel over here? Well, I tested it before and if I run a generator like this with a flywheel over here, it makes the drive side more efficient. So, I'm not complaining about it, just using it. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. It's a pretty, pretty heavy uh, wooden uh, setup. All the sides are all the same, nice balanced everywhere. And of course, if I get it a little spin, I put it a little bit like this. As you can see, it is spinning very smoothly. And it would spin for a pretty long time. So that's always a good thing. The bearings are in there somewhere. Nice uh, high efficient bearing. 12 pole rotor. Well, let me stop it. 12 pole rotor. Uh, rectangular uh, magnets. This one is perfectly the same as this one. Both are the same, like twins. Uh, I have now, like I said, it's just a setup to give you an idea. So now, the idea is to put, to test some cars in it like this. And uh, with North Pole and South Pole, or South Pole and South Pole, or um, put it in uh, such a way that uh, I can use these two rotors as a 24 pole loader. I hope you can um, you understand that. So it would be 12 pole on this side and this side, but alternating. So this max over here should be in the middle of these two. Yeah, anyway, I think you get the idea. And also test these coils. And of course the gap is now much bigger, but that doesn't matter. Because as you can see, I have a lot of spacer in there. I have here also a lot of those spacers which I made all our uh, aluminum spacers also these types I have also these types all kinds of spacers and there is something like a little bit of gold but it's not gold, it's just brass spacer also so for a coil like this I will uh, adjust the gap and maybe also remove the flywheel, depends, yeah, on what I feel at that moment in time. So we'll be starting soon with testing this. Give it just a little bit spin. Let it give it just a little bit more spin. So it's more exciting when it's uh, running a little bit faster. So yeah. Like I said, just a little update on this one. It's turning very nice. All the parts are made uh, fit perfectly, so that's a good thing. Uh, let me think, did I forget something? No, I don't think so. Anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed it this small update and uh, thanks for watching